Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for this upcoming full moon that's occurring on July 21st, 2024. I'm going to break it down for each life path number and see what the energies have in store. Before we get into that, this is a general forecast. If you would like a personalized forecast or numerology reading for your own numerology and your own energies, please book some time with me. I would love to work with you. My information is in the description box below. Also, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that the algorithm knows to promote this little channel and help it to grow. Really appreciate your support and thank you so much for being here. All right, let's take a look. Life path number seven, you are going to be working with the vibration of the 25 seven for this illumination. So ultimately your own energy of the seven, but you have this influencing energy of the 25, which is significant. So let's break it down. So this is a little bit of a heavier energy. It's a little bit more challenging to kind of move through, but there's some potential great rewards that can come through that process. So you could experience some unexpected trials and potential difficulties now that can really push you to draw from your energy reserves, that can really push you to sort of draw, um, sort of draw from your inner wisdom, right, and your intuition, and to be discerning in what you say yes to and what you say no to, um, and how you participate in certain things as well. So yeah, this is going to ask you to take your time in making decisions when it comes to things that, you know, opportunities that might present at this time, as well as those trials and difficulties, instead of sort of going immediately to, well, here's this huge challenge. So this is obviously not for me, seeing it as, well, how much do I want what's on the other side of this challenge? How much do I want to be moving in the direction, um, you know, that's on the other side of this this obstacle, because that's going to determine whether you're willing to sort of draw from those res um, reserves and your wisdom to find a way to overcome that challenge. And it may be that you need to recognize your limitations when it comes to whatever that challenge may be and seek the assistance from others to help you to find a way to either overcome that challenge or work with it in some way that benefits you as opposed to works against you would also say that, you know, even though this is a period that can feel like it's, you know, full of trials and tribulations and difficulties, um, it's interesting because what's on the other side of those challenges can be very successful, can be, can prove to be very fulfilling. And, you know, success can absolutely be yours at this time, but it's not this energy where it's just handed over to you, where it just falls into your lap definitely comes after that hard work and perseverance. And at the core of that is the question of how bad do you want it, right? Like what, what is it that you're moving towards? Does it, does it align with your heart center? Is it what you actually want? And is it moving you in the direction that you want to be moving in? And that's what you would base your decision on, on whether to move forward or not. Some of you may find that no matter what direction you move in, there's obstacles and there's those trials to be kind of moved through. And so again, you're going to have to find a way to do it, right? Um, and when you can do that, again, there's a tremendous amount of wisdom on the other side of that, tremendous amount of potential success on the other side of that. So it's definitely worth that dedication <clears throat> and that commitment. I would say that during this period, you know, Pay attention to your mental energy. Try to keep it positive. Now, again, it's not trying to bypass, you know, um, or spiritual bypass or toxic po toxic positivity. It's just saying, you know, don't go down the rabbit hole of, you know, of negativity because it is not going to serve you at this time. If you start, I mean, it's never really going to serve you, but this is going to be a time where the more you sort of your thoughts are going down a hole of, you know, negativity, the more you're going to see that, you know, that's where you're putting your energy. So that's what you're going to see to grow. And during this time, you know, you're really going to need to pull from that, that positivity or that um, sort of more constructive uh, mindset that's going to help you to move through whatever it is that comes up for you. So yeah, I would definitely say, try to visualize what it is that you want. Visualize the direction that you want to be moving towards and then keep the thought 
present, right? And keep that positivity present. And, you know, I would say, don't immediately commit to your limitations. Like don't, don't decide what your limitations are. Like there's going to be some limitations where you're like, yeah, I, I, I cannot do this. I need someone who has the strengths that can do this. And that's beautiful, right? Recognizing your limitations, recognizing you can't do it all alone, calling someone in to assist. Beautiful. But you know, sometimes in life, things feel so big, so monumental that we can easily get overwhelmed and we can convince ourselves that it's not possible, that we're not capable of doing whatever it may be. And so we immediately put that cap on ourselves, right? We immediately create that glass ceiling. And this energy is saying, don't do that, right? Come back to the present, see what your actual limitations are, and then move from that space, right? Like, bring in the assistance that you need, call in the help that you need based on the actual limitations that are present. Don't create limitations that don't need to be there, okay? So very, very important during this period so that you get the most out of this experience um, and so that you can move towards that, that vision, greater vision that you wanna move towards. I would also say be mindful under this energy of any kind of like impulsive or hasty actions because that can create some kind of conflict, whether it's an internal conflict or um, between you and another person. So, you know, there could be some sudden events at this time that require you to make a, a quick decision. But I would say even with that, take your time, as much time as you can to kind of move through your options and see what really feels good for you. And if you're immediately saying no to it, figure out why you're saying no to it. Does it make sense? Is it because of a rational fear or actual rational fear? There's a big difference there and you wanna make sure that whatever you're leaning towards um, is not sort of keeping you restricted and bound in a prison that you don't need to be in. I would say that this is an opportunity for a change of residence, a trip, or some kind of other big movement in your life that can create some kind of shift in your life. Um, you could also kind of see, and not to be like fear mongering, but you could see some health conditions that could come up at this time that just need your attention. So don't avoid them, just you know, recognize it for what it is and seek the appropriate help to help you to either manage or move through that. Definitely would say when it comes to signing documents, do so with cons with consulting an expert just to make sure that you're um, being taken into consideration and that your needs are being met as well and your in best interest is uh, being taken into consideration. So big energy here, sevens. This could be a really pivotal transformative period for you all. Um, yeah, it's just really going to come down to how you how you participate, how you choose to move through it. So I hope it's a great one. Take care, sevens. Bye for now.